been? What do you mean? They've been open to new experiences. But are they ready for what comes next? Who's this? Why you the kid? Because I want to know where our child fits. Yo, what's good, everybody? And thank you for tuning in to another Tyler Perry's Sisters Review. This is Season 6, Episode 15, the extended trailer for the upcoming episode of next week, which is entitled Too Close to Home. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning family member, then you already know what it is and what it always will be. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Tell somebody to tell somebody, you feel me? But if not, just sit back, relax, and we're going to get right into this messy thing. Now, I know there is an extended, extended trailer, but I ain't had time for all that. So this is like the shortened extended trailer. So we see Danny and Preston and he asked her, so where have you been? And then there's like a jump cut to the next morning where Danny's response to whatever he's saying or asking is, what do you mean? Now, I'm just going to go out on a limb and say, when I ask someone a question and they respond with the, what do you mean? My response to them is, what you mean what I mean? You know what I mean. I hit them with that, especially when you know they know what you mean. Now, I know that was a lot, but I know y'all follow me. <laughs> and whatever Preston is saying to Danny, I believe that she knows exactly what Preston meant by his question. But before I get into that, I want to go back to what is shown in the extended trailer. And Preston says to Danny, it's the morning after, and he says, Basically, I just want to make sure that you just don't wake up one day and decide that you've had enough and you're asking me to leave. And I said, well, Preston, buddy, um, aren't you still engaged? Because we ain't heard nothing about Mindy. We have not heard anything about the ring that you put on both of these women's finger. We haven't heard that you've actually gotten it back. So I've been looking at you sideways, well, for a long time, but you ain't got that ring back, sir. So I'm not... I've never bought into the whole pranny, pranny. <laughs> I've never bought into the whole Danny and Preston of it all, simply because I feel like Danny has so much that she needs to deal with before she can effectively commit herself to anybody. And I feel like by Preston making that statement, he already knows the type of time that Danny is on. Because when you go back, like I said, it was a lot of things that happened in the extended, extended trailer. When Danny comes home, she's actually like sneaking into the house. And that's when Preston poses the question, so where have you been? And so in my mind, I'm thinking it has to be way after midnight because it was after 11 o'clock when her, Andy, and Sabrina were playing the wheels on the bus go round and round with the three stooges, okay? <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny to me, but it was, but I'm like, so it has to be way after midnight. You're all dressed up. He hasn't heard from you and you're sneaking into the house. You automatically look guilty. You automatically look guilty. So asking her where she's been, that's a legitimate question. Where you been sis? So I'm interested in seeing how Danny answers this question. Does she tell him the truth? Does she tell him a truth lie? where it's some truth in it, but it's still a lie. But we're going to see Wednesday how she kind of finagle her way out of this. And then there's a, br a brief clip of Calvin looking a little downtrodden. And I'm wondering if this is where Sabrina is going to end things with him once and for all. I understand that they are not in a relationship. However, I believe that Calvin has continued to walk around with this false sense of hope that maybe one day he and Sabrina could rekindle whatever it was that they had initially. And I just don't think Sabrina will ever be in that place again. Now I have a video coming that's going to specifically uh, talk about Calvin and Sabrina. Now there are a lot of people who like them together and I didn't know so many people was working with them like that. Like legit really want Sabrina and Calvin to be together. And I just have really never seen it for them as a as a couple. 
I think that Calvin has been a good friend to her, especially in the moments of her being arrested, getting out of jail, and him trying to help her piece the puzzle together. However, when it came to them romantically, I don't know. I just wasn't here for it, but I'm not going to get too much into detail why I wasn't because I'm going to save that for the video. And so this darn grocery store scene Karen asked Zach, who is this? And she's referring to Michael. And I'm like, Karen, baby, you already know who that is. You've already seen this little boy in front of Zach's house. And you've already had two encounters with Heather. Once at Zach's house on the lawn. And secondly, when she showed up to your salon. So you already know who this is. And so Zach's response is, why you even care? And Karen says she wants to know where their child fits in and if you've been listening to me for a while then you already know exactly how I feel about this pregnancy storyline you know that I dislike it with a passion you know that I'm not here for it I've been over it I don't care who the father of this child is because at this point it just really doesn't matter it just doesn't matter so every discussion conversation Everything that comes up surrounding this pregnancy is laughable and it causes me to roll my eyes. Even if it's a legit concern, I, I just don't care anymore. Now, Karen wondering where her child fits into Zach's world is a legit and natural concern. A, because he is engaged to Fatima. B, she sees him with Michael in his arms, which I guess can confirm to her that Michael is indeed her chi his child. And then she states that she's pregnant with his child. So Zach already has a lot going on in his own personal life. And then for her to be pregnant, she kind of like on the outs, you know, for her to be pregnant with his said child, you want to know where your child fits in. Is it legit? Concern? Absolutely. But this is not the place to have that conversation. It's after 11 o'clock. They're in the grocery store. Obviously, they're getting diapers. This is not the place to have this conversation. And until Karen actually gives birth, there are no conversations that needs to be had. I will stand on that mountain. I will stand on that hill. I will place my flag there because at this point, there is no need for conversation. There is no need for discussion. You're barely showing. You're not even really having morning sickness. There is nothing really going on that should concern yourself about where the placement of this child belongs in Zach's world. I wouldn't really have any type of conversation for Karen at, at this point because we're not having this conversation in the grocery store. We're not having this conversation in front of my child. We're not having this conversation after 11 o'clock at night, period. And I just wish that Tyler would just end this mess because the emphasis that is placed on this pregnancy storyline is absolutely why just why <laughs> it doesn't make sense anymore fit to be a major storyline at this point but um yeah that's just that's just how I feel about that I, I don't care I don't care I don't care any other hell drop dead Fred who was an imaginary friend he could be the daddy I don't care I don't care anymore like and I know so many people in the comments don't care either like we are we are over this and I just and I know it's still gonna get talked about in season seven that that's one thing I'm not looking forward to when it comes to season seven is this continual spiral of who the baby daddy you the baby daddy you're not the baby daddy they may be the baby daddy and no you're not let me take it back I'm we're tired of this game Tyler we're tired of this game. We want this game to disappear and to never return. But unfortunately, you guys, we know that's not the case. But um, so I want to thank you guys for listening. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you to everyone who comments. Thank you to everyone who is telling somebody to tell somebody. I appreciate you. Um, Until next time, I will holler at y'all later. And y'all be safe out there. One.